Mike. Mikel, that's nine wins out of ten in all competitions this season. Would you give your team nine out of ten for their performance tonight? Uh, what I give is uh, that every game is difficult to win, and we've done today, um, making a lot of changes and giving players that they fully deserve the minutes to play. It. Uh, so I'm really happy with the results, scoring three goals and keeping a clean sheet, but as well very conscious that uh, there are a lot of things that we can do much better, um, especially the way we dominated the game in, in certain periods. Mikel, uh, three substitutes close to half time. What was the reason behind those? Well, because some of them, they haven't played a lot of minutes and, and we could sense that uh, they were getting tired as well. There are players that needed minutes uh, without overloading them for Sunday and um, and it worked pretty well. Okay. Um, sorry, uh, congratulations for the win. Um, Central Kingston is often linked with the jobs in Premier League. Can you say something about what is done before the game? Both, um, Playing style and I said it yesterday, you look at uh, what the team has done under him and the performances that they had, results that they had, big credit to him, you know, the way they play, um, how brave they were today here to try to, to play the game the, the way they want to play and a um, difficult team, really well organized and um, I like them. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Um, what's the next step for these players that have done well tonight to kind of break into that? The same as the others, keep doing better and better. There are still a lot of things individual and collectively to do better and keep the standards as high as possible and um, and try to reach the next level and the next level. Nothing different to the ones that uh, they didn't play. Kai? You mentioned the things that you wanted to see your team do a bit more when you were dominating the game. What specifically was that you wanted to see more from your side? Uh, we had uh, spells that uh, we were too rushed, uh, we didn't win enough duels. Uh, we didn't manage the ball when we won it back well enough, so it became a really open game with a lot of transitions. And uh, when you have the results in your hand, you have to manage that game much better. We didn't put 10, 15 passes together enough times in the game to to try to, to get them more in the final thirds. We were really effective in the final third. We looked a threat, but in terms of composure and sometimes the timing between the units, because they haven't played together that much, sometimes was lacking a little bit. And in football, timing is, is everything. Yes, you saw the, the quality every time he's around the box. He's a, he's a real threat, really intelligent, player, brave, um, and defending. He still needs to do more, understanding more, uh, because organization is key when you play against good teams in, in both possession. Yeah. Um, Mikel, obviously, it was a great run by Gabriel Jesus on the third goal. But there was a moment just after he came on, a few minutes after, where he, he ran ran back into his own area and I think he, he stopped a, a, a counter-attack. How much does that kind of thing please you about the attitude that your senior players show on a night like this? I love his mentality. Um, it doesn't matter how long he plays, where he plays, in which position he plays, he always gives absolutely everything. You see his presence when he goes on the pitch. Uh, makes the team different, his energy as well. And obviously today he put an, an outstanding um, action to to create the circle. And do you think that shows a lot about the attitude that your team genuinely show you on a night like this against the top of the Well, especially if he does it, that he's won everything in the last five years. Imagine what the rest have to do. So follow him because he's, um, he's always in, in the right spot. Okay. Mikel, the last time you had a European night in a, in a packed Emirates stadium, the team lost, the team went out of the competition and you caught COVID. So much better experience tonight. How, how much do you enjoy these European nights when things are going well? Well, it's in the DNA of this football club. Obviously, we are used to a different European nights, uh, but it was great to play under the lights, to have, again, a full stadium uh, supporting the team. And uh, we need to, again, start to create those moments because um, they are really special. Hi, Mikhail. Major congrats on the win. I wanted to ask if um, you have any concerns about fixture congestion. So with the World Cup coming up and other major competitions coming up, how are you going to deal with this and how are you going to deal with um, players getting tired and avoiding mm. injuries? Well, we, we have a plan, obviously, and we have an understanding of what we want to do. But then this is football and there are so many uncontrollable circumstances that would determine we go this way or that way, we use that player or not that player. And uh, it's something that nobody has experienced before, so we are a little bit 
blank there, uh, but yeah, we try to prepare to try to understand how to especially protect the players uh, for their well-being. Hi, Michael. What piece do you most about Nketiah's performance and goal in the semi-final? When he puts the ball in the back of the net. <laughs> for any manager, this is the best moment. Obviously, his work rate, his attitude, his application is just phenomenal, but uh, he's got this natural ability and, and he does it every time. Just actually following up on the Nketiah question, is he kind of the perfect second strike or sub to have in terms of his attitude? He's always been patient and when he gets the chance, he actually delivers. So how, how pleased are you in terms of his attitude? What I can say is that I'm really happy to have him in the team. Uh, he has the qualities to play for this team um, in any role, as a starter, as a finisher, how you want to call him. And, uh, and we all love his attitude and the qualities that he has, so we are really happy to have him. Two more, Mark. I was going to say the same, which I mean, he scored 12 goals in the last 15 starts now. He must be, we were touching it yesterday, he must be getting quite hard to leave him out of the team. <coughs> It does, and the good thing is that today he could have scored a couple more. And uh, you have to look at what you have done, great, but what you can do better. And, uh, and that's his mentality, and this is where we want to take him. And when you see how he has evolved in the last year or, or two, and he still has a lot of room to do that. Last one. Yeah, Mikhail, what impressed you the most about your opponents today, and how would you rank them in the Europa League group? How clear um, and brave they are in what they want to do. And uh, they came here and they tried to play exactly the same that they have played away or at home against any opponent. And probably that's great to, to their manager because they have put that belief in, in the team. So a very, very good team. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.